Hi, Kevin Blanche. We're here in Vienna, and I got to meet this great activist who's been in Fukushima. Been there. Been there. Documented videos. Been in Chernobyl many times. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, hello, I'm Howard Steinbichol. And like Kevin said, I've been to Chernobyl many times and Fukushima. And I know what this stupid technology brings. It brings suffering and pain to the people. So that some people make billions of dollars. For, and millions of people are dying around the physical drama, suicide, get cancer and all this shit. And yeah, I've seen it. I don't need to believe it because I know it. Yeah, and I got to see incredible footage he has from Chernobyl, the photographs, but more than that, Fukushima. You, sh I, you know, the photographs that he showed me on his computer from inside Fukushima, the story of Fukushima, the ghost train he showed me that goes in and out of there eight times. They videoed it. They, they, they photographed it. Him and another group, just a small group of them, they just did it. You know, on their own, and so he he knows the crux and the details. What's really going on at Fukushima? You know, and what do you call your uh, website? Your roadside picnic. And yeah, I didn't know what that was. I guess that's a book from Russian. But tell us a little bit about what you saw at Fukushima. Oh yeah, um, actually they are pretending like this. Everything is fine. Nothing happens. And I was meshing by myself in my Geiger counter, uh, 80 kilometers away, I think it's about 60 miles, uh, in Fukushima, in the capital, in the city, 280,000 people. They got these indoor playgrounds for the children, and in the front entrance is high radiation. So what's this all for? And, and they're like digging around all the soil, uh, put it in a plastic bag, so they know what to do with it. Tell us about the FEMA camp, and there's, or excuse me, the FEMA camp, there's a Freudian slip. The temporary housing they're at, and then you were showing me pictures and showing oh, yeah. they pile up the debris right outside the doors of their temporary yeah, housing. Uh, they move the people from the exclusion zone to temporary houses, like uh, 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 how you call this, um, tin ca uh, cans yeah. uh, houses. And if he wakes up in the morning, opens the window, looks outside, he sees this radioactive soul of a big hill. I mean, you saw the picture, a big hill in front of his house. Mind. This must be depressing. It is actually depressing. Yeah, it's actually the waste that they're sacking up. They're piling up right in front of these poor people. And then, you know, you verified the suicide that's going on over there. Oh, yeah. I've uh, heard, I've interviewed this farmer, which uh, uh, his woman, uh, that they, they, they are not allowed to go back to the farm, to the house. It's really nice house. Uh, and one day, without any, any, any sign, she just took a can of gasoline, put over her and burned herself. So that's what's going on. The same story as what you heard 30 years ago in Chernobyl. Because uh, the, the, not only cancer and, and, and the patients are the problem, even the depression that people have, if they have to move. Oh, Multi-generation. Yeah. But he has incredible shots and you live in Austria. Yeah. And you just did this. You, you and a group, you guys just did this. Yeah. And uh, he was at the house. We all know the famous, you know, cattle rancher who stayed. These yeah. guys talked to him. They're right there with him, interviewed oh, yeah, him. Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah, the cow terrorist called him. He's yeah. incredible. He's, uh, he's not a typical Japanese. He's no. Like, he's shouting, he's yelling. He's using bad words. <laughs> but you had the Geiger counter inside his house. Oh yeah, it's up to inside in the living room, uh, uh, up to two micros. I don't mean, I would not live there. And in, for, in front of his balcony, you can look straight up to uh, to the nuclear power plant of Fukushima Daiichi. And tell us about the train. As well. Oh yeah, um, there's this train. Uh, there are many ghost uh, villages. And, area and it's next to the coast and the government wants to force that the, the, uh, the, the line of the train goes through back to the north but the uh, 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 unit workers they are fighting against this so the government says yeah the, the, the train goes to this village yeah it's uh, I don't have the name now but uh, it, the train goes eight times a day to a ghost city and we were uh, watching the train arriving nobody's in there and then he's waiting 10 minutes and goes back. And that's what he makes eight, eight times a day. Eight times a day. <laughs> it's just, the government tries to, to say, yeah, everything is okay because the, yeah, the, the Olympic Games 2020 are coming and everything is fine. Nothing is, uh, we fixed everything. Uh, nothing is fixed. It's getting worse and worse. But I, 
Now, you were telling us you were in Fukushima City, which is how far away from the... 80 kilometers, or so about 50, 60 And your, you guys' readings were how high, even there? Uh, it, uh, we had background radiations in this park with seven microsieverts. Wow. It's a park where young couples go to dating. It's wow. really romantic and nice there. And, the, and uh, some people live there. And you know, it's, the sad thing is, I mean, I have no problem. I see this in Chernobyl. Old farmers, old people go back there, live there. Yeah, they know, okay, they're old. They don't want to get uh, sure. disconnected from the, the roots. But I get really mad and sad if I see children. Area. And that's what's going on in Japan still. And it's like there are higher, yeah, nothing's, everything is fine. And there are independent hospitals that are trying to handle stuff. Oh, yeah, there's this one a clinic, uh, this corporation clinic in Fukushima. It lives on donations, and there are independent doctors who check the children by themselves. It's founded by some mothers who were. Uh, 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 they didn't trust the government yeah, and the official hospitals. So and they make so they make different numbers than the official ones. So the official ones said, oh no, this is everything is fine. It's 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 in the regular uh, shape. And uh, then they make real numbers. Different. Real numbers. Yeah, what's really going on there? Yeah, and it's pretty amazing. Cancer. We have the IEA here in Vienna. Oh yeah. And you know, it's spending billions and billions of dollars, and it's all grassroots like yourself. You know, like myself, like this independent clinic that have to tell the truth and have to yeah. fight with peanuts, with nothing, yeah. when they got billions and they're supposed to do this. You know, your work has been really powerful, I'm telling you. I got to see the photographs today and I tell you what, they're amazing, amazing. Thank you. <laughs> well, not even just, I mean, Fukushima, yeah, going over there, what you guys did, but the work in Chernobyl that you have. How yeah. many times you been in Chernobyl? Six times now. Uh, two times a year I'm going. <laughs> and you're going right in there. Yeah. I mean, the photographs he has and the dynamic he knows, it's incredible, you know. So I kept watching me in. And I, I want to tell that my audience and our audience in the United States that there's a lot of great activists in Austria and Germany that we don't know about in the U.S. because they block us from you guys. We don't get to find out about you guys. And we know that, the, you know, it's different here, I'm here to tell you, because I live in the U.S. Yeah. I get spit on as an activist. Yeah. People come up to me and just see my shirt, whatever, hey, thank you for what you do. You know, and so, I guess, more logic, but I appreciate your work. Thanks. I really appreciate your work. And it's fan he's young, by the way. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's got an incredible future ahead of this. So. Uh, Thanks for doing this. I really appreciate it. I do it. For Show myself. your shirt. Show your shirt. <laughs> I love this. Tell me what that means. Uh, it's uh, Strahlen. Um, it's a German word for radiation or for smiling. So it says uh, a smiling man or radiation man. You can use it in both. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Very great. Very clever. Yeah. That's what we have to be. We use whatever we have. Thanks so much again. You're appreciate welcome. it. Okay. Uh, we need to unite. All the yes, activists. absolutely. Unite the clans! Yeah. <laughs>